Hey stars, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara and passing it on is my passion. Now I'm gonna do something different in today's video. If you've been checking out my videos, my channel, you know that I've been doing reviews and features and this time I just want to kind of introduce myself, um, getting to know Tara, open a little bit about my life. So last week, I think it was last week, yeah, I posted on my Instagram stories and on Facebook, true or false, nasikat na siya sa Instagram, and I thought I want to do that, but I want to vlog it instead. So here we are. And some of you guys responded, thank you very much. I'm going to do shout outs later on. So here we go, getting to know Tara of Truly Tara. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, I couldn't even judge. <laughs> All right. First up, true or false? Loves sweets. Apologies for any sudden noise. Love sweets, true, very true. Believe it or not, I love to eat and I super duper love sweets. I feel like I have to eat something sweet in the morning. True, I love sweets. And particularly, I love like mga custard, dairy, butter. True or false, super love the beach. Super. Yes, I love the beach. And believe it or not, I do not mind getting tan. Not getting burned, okay? There's a difference because then burning would lead to skin aging. Okay, that's another topic. <laughs> But yes, I super duper love the beach. I love the seawater. I love the sun basking. And yeah. <laughs> Next is true or false. Doesn't reply to her followers or subscribers. Now, I responded to this in advance. And I'm going to respond to it again right now. I am extremely, extremely grateful for all the followers and subscribers thank you very much however the truth of the matter is i cannot reply to every single i try but i cannot reply it's impossible that's part of being a content creator and i do a lot a time for that but let's just say I get a million subscribers and I get a million messages on Instagram and on in uh, and on Facebook and um, on YouTube and I have emails as well so true and false because true I I simply cannot respond to every single comment or message but false because I do make time to reply, to respond to the messages. True or false, cool mom. True. <coughs> I declare that I am a cool mom. What is a cool mom? What is a cool mom? Comment down below. <laughs> True or false, trick mom. This is from Nikita. Hi, Nikita. Strict mom. True? I think I am a strict mom, but we'll see. We'll see. But for now, in this stage, I would say I am a strict mom. Okay. From RJ, from Robert. Hi, RJ. Oily skin needs to be moisturized. Okay. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I am not a skin care expert. Like, I'm not a skin expert. I'm not a doctor. But I am, I love skincare. I do take good care of my skin. So I don't know if my answer is right or wrong. But you know, if a doctor or if an expert is listening to my answer, you can kindly comment down below. So oily skin needs to be moisturized, true or false? For me, true. However, 
there are different kinds of moisturizers. You just have to find the right one for you. There are different factors to consider. You have moisturizers for those who have dry skin, combination skin, normal skin, oily skin. And I think for those who have oily skin, your moisturizers would really help you balance out the oil uh, production, it should do that. Not going to moisturize your face. I think a hydrator is very important. Like for me, um, I have combination to oily skin and I do moisturize, but my moisturizers are like um, moisturizer and hydrator at the same time, something in the middle. So anyways, I hope I answered that question, RJ. Okay, next from DJ. Hey DJ, my IG fam, RJ and DJ and Marco, hi. So you sometimes feel burnt out creating content and have thought, is it worth it? The thing is, I have a lot of um, content lined up, like I list all of them. So I think that um, burning out from creating content, true and false, true because of the execution, because of the time, the energy you spend in creating content. By the way, I don't know how many people are vlog lang. OMG. Guys, dili in town na siya. Like, vlog vlog lang. Um, there are so many things that goes into the creative process in creating a vlog. So, delete na siya. Hayahaya niya o vlog vlog lang. And I've thought, is it worth it? Now, this question, is this worth it? This came across when I was like um, at the early early stage of my content creating content creator journey um just before reaching 1k subscribers on youtube i thought i honestly thought like is this worth it is this really god's will for me because at that time it seemed seemed very 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 challenging to reach 1000 subscribers so yes true but the thing is it's all about perspective before breakthrough comes breaking and i think feeling burnt burnt out is part of the breaking and i think it is impossible not to get burned out even in the things that you are most passionate about you know what i mean even as a mom honest motherhood there would be times wherein you would just want to have a break to just, you know, even just five minutes of alone time or me time, just sipping your coffee. These times are good times to just reflect, evaluate, to re-energize, to charge yourself, and then you keep going. Keep going. All right, next from my friend Wilma. Hi, Wilma, Rada Chen, <laughs> complete. You buy skincare products more than clothes. Hmm, I do love clothes. I really love clothes. I think it's really one of my weaknesses. I really love to dress up and all that. But to answer your question, true. Because, well, if I compare skincare to clothes, for me, skincare is a need. Like, it's something I use every single day. Well, I use clothes every day, but you know, anyways, I know you get what I mean. So yes, true, I buy skincare products more than clothes. From Mary Grace. Hi, Mary Grace. Donato or Donato or I'm sorry if I am, yeah, murdering your name, but hi, Mary Grace. <laughs> Clear skin, true. I thank God for good genes. Um, I do have clear skin, but it doesn't mean like I have perfect skin and that is never the goal. The goal is to have healthy skin. I do have clear skin and I have combination to oily skin, 
my skin type but i also have occasional blemishes and bumps i experience pimples as well and if you would ask me what my skincare challenge is on my face in particular i have blackheads here on my nose Dili lang siya maklaro, but I do have that. So yeah, okay, this is from Geraldine. Hi, Geraldine! Perfectionist. Perfectionist? No, I am not a perfectionist. I don't think I am a perfectionist. False. But I do strive for excellence. I do um, ask myself if uh, whenever I do something, will this glorify God? And God, He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and He deserves excellence. I do strive to give back the glory to God. I do strive for excellence. Okay, next. I can do that. Again from Geraldine, hubby is the first and final BF. False. Hubby is not the first, but what matters most, hubby is the last. He makes all things beautiful in his time. And I thank God for my husband. Shout out to my husband. Hi, love. Boyish. Boyish? Boyish, bunny? Tawo, puff sleeves, puff sleeves. No, I don't think I am boyish. What do you mean, boyish? Takes a shower or half bath before going to bed. True. I am so proud to say true. This is one thing I really learned from my husband, Grill, okay? Because, to be honest, before, like, um, I was a working student. I was a working student, by the way. Um, I used to be a barista at Starbucks when I was in college. I went home very late, and kanang kapoy na kay ko. So, I always washed my face, but before, like, it wasn't really my habit to really wash up before going to sleep because then I would reach home at 1 a.m. or at 2 a.m. and I would be very, very tired. And then in the morning at 6 or like 7 o'clock, I have to get up to go to school. So, but now... <laughs> Anyways, what matters most is now, I do take a shower or half bath before going to bed. True. From Bulai Kes. I think from Laika? Hi Laika. Exercise always. False. Exercise always, you mean every single day? When I say consistent, like that doesn't even mean every day. But right now, I stopped because um, I have a lot of things on top of my list, like my priority list. So um, exercising is really not my priority right now, but I am planning to get back into it. Hi Janine, my Fitspo, such a Fitspiration mama. So I plan to get back into exercising probably when we transfer to House Bontol already. Um, but even if I get back into it and before I stop, I did not do it every single day. I did it on a regular basis like three times a week, something like that, or like four times a week, but not every single day. From Laika again, athlete, false. I am not an athlete. I am a frustrated swimmer. <laughs> but really, like when I was growing up, would you must swimmer or do about Michael Phelps? Okay, my last question on Instagram, by the way, if you haven't checked out my Instagram account yet, it is underscore truly Tara. See you there. It's from Eloisa. Hi Eloisa. Is it true? Is it really? Your goal pop to twin outfits with Renee. True. I love twinning outfits with Renee. Twinning is the goal. More posts soon on twinning. Okay, now from Facebook. First up, from Mona Lisa. Hi, Mona Lisa. Breastfeeding mom po kayo, madam. True. 
And I still breastfeed right now. At ilang years po. Renee is turning three. Now, I was supposed to stop um, right after she turned two years old. But because of the pandemic, we are um, mostly at home, like 99% of the time. So I thought, why would I stop? You know, there's still milk. Thank you, Lord. So I'm still bre- bre- I'm still breastfeeding until now. Athlete kaba by Maze. Hi Maze. No, I'm not an athlete. Frustrated athlete lang. Like I used to do running before. Believe it or not, I already ran 50k, 50 kilometer run. I miss it. I miss it. The um, women's um, ultra marathon. I miss it so much. And before I tried doing triathlon. Yes, no. Nag swim, bike, run. All that, that's where I met, like in that, um, in that department area. That's where I met my husband, really. You love pastel colors po ba? True, I love colors, but if you haven't noticed, my favorite color is white. Honor ka po ba? Kasi napaka-diligent mong magsalita. No, believe it or not. No. Friendly. Friendly? Friendly ko? I think I am. Yeah. True. Friendly. You're creative po ever since. True! I would say, I dare say, I am creative. I think that's one of, of the strengths that I really tell my husband real. I am creative. Okay. Fashiony, fashionista po from Eloisa. Hi, Eloisa. Yes, true. I am a fashionista. I love dressing up. Loves to travel. I do. True. I love to travel. My husband loves to travel. Thank you, Lord. We love to travel. Yes. You were famous po in school noong nag-aaral pa po kayo. Full! I don't think so. I am not famous. I don't think so. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. Like in high school, I wasn't one of the like famous girls. In college, um, I was a mass communication student, and I loved to. I loved, and I love. I still love to. I love to act. So, I guess as a mass com student, you know, you're always seen out there. So yeah. Aloisa, 5'3", kapu ba? False, 5'5". Five, five. Okay? Ikaw po ba ang nag-decide ng design ng bahay niyo po? From Marie. Hi, Marie! Um, we have, we have an amazing, we have an amazing, we have an amazing interior designer. Hi, Sas! Um, her name is Vanessa Gaston. You can check out her socials, Vanessa Gaston Designs. Um, I did not design the house. She did. But before she designed the house, we we really, um, we told her what we wanted. We wanted light. We wanted a lot of natural light. Anyways, we will talk. I will talk. I will share about that. Once we transfer in House Montal, I would love to invite Vanessa and um, tell you about the design of the house, architecture, 101 with her, and also shout out to our, um, to our, my gosh, I'm losing my vocabulary here. <laughs> to our contractor, hi Ace! So, I'll place their socials at the description box so that you can check them. Malakas! Wow! Yay. Malakas ka po bang kumain? True! Malakas akong kumain. True. So, you guys might be wondering, ha, malakas kong kumain? Parang hindi naman nakikita. Nax, hindi naman nakikita. Tagalog. <laughs> okay. Um, I think uh, one factor is that I am still breastfeeding. And... Um, even if malakas akong kumain, I try to balance it out with exercise, but then I stopped exercising recently. So um, I'm taking it easy and I do check 
my weight from time to time. So yes, clingy kapuba, clingy, clingy kulab. False. I don't think I am clingy. Yeah, that ends my true or false segment, segment, <laughs> session, or whatever with you guys. Again, thank you very much for those who responded. I hope you had fun as much as I had fun doing this video. If you want more videos like this, please let me know. If you want to get to know more about Tara, of Truly Tara, let me know at the comments down below. I might do another true or false or, you know, something to this effect. Something like this. All right, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have new videos just like this. See you in the next one. Let your light shine, stars. Bye.